Here are the top 10 hidden features for the iPhone 14 Pro. Number one, you can enable a power on off sound for the iPhone 14 Pro. To do this, open up settings and then choose accessibility. Then scroll down and choose audio visual and then make sure that power on and off sounds is turned on. Here is what it sounds like when you turn it on. And here is what it sounds like when you turn it off. Number two, the iPhone 14 Pro has a fantastic always on display, but you can actually customize it to make it better for your usage. Open up settings and then tap on display and brightness. Scroll down and then choose always on display. From here, you can choose to simply turn it completely off if you'd like to, but you can also choose to customize a few different things on the always on display. You can choose to show your wallpaper and also to show your notifications. If you choose to turn both of these off, your always on display will look a lot more clean and can also save a bit of battery life. Number three, you can have two activities running in the dynamic island at the same time. So say for example, I start playing a song in music and then I swipe to go home and then I open up the clock app and then I start a timer. You can see in the dynamic island, I have both of my activities running at the same time and I can tap between each one and quickly launch the corresponding application. Number four, when you have something running in the island, you can actually press and hold on the island to see more toggles. For example, if you're listening to music, you can press and hold on the island and see more playback controls. And if you have a timer going, you can press and hold on it to either cancel or pause your timer. And one of my favorites, if you're using your Apple TV, you can press and hold on it and get the remote for your Apple TV right from the island. Number five, you are able to dismiss anything from the dynamic island if you don't want to see it. So for example, if you have music playing, but you don't want to show in the island, all you have to do is swipe inwards on the island to hide that activity. It also works the other way, so if you want to bring it back, all you have to do is swipe outwards on the island to bring it back. If you have two things happening in the island, you can also do this as well. So say for example, you have music on the left side and a timer on the right side, but you only want to see your music. All you have to do is swipe on the timer inwards and it's going to hide that section of the island and only show the music. Number six. Inside the camera, if you go to video, you'll notice there's a new toggle. This is for all iPhone 14 models. This is called action mode. And this allows your video to be a lot more steady if you are running or doing something high intensity where the video is going to be very shaky. Action mode defaults to 2.8K, which may not be compatible with some video editing software. So if you want to change the resolution of this, you're able to tap in the top right corner and you can change your action mode resolution down to 1080p. Number seven, the iPhone 14 Pro is capable of reaching up to 2000 nits of peak outdoor brightness. This is hands down the brightest screen I've ever seen on a smartphone. To make sure that you're maxing out the brightness, open up settings and you wanna make sure that auto brightness is turned on. Now Apple has moved auto brightness deeper into accessibility settings. So the easiest way to find it is to simply search for auto brightness inside settings and make sure it's turned on. Number eight, the iPhone 14 Pro supports emergency SOS via satellite if you live in one of the supported countries. If you open settings, click on emergency SOS, and if you scroll down, you'll see that there is a demo of this feature, and you can try it out to see what it would be like if you were in an emergency situation. Doing this will actually connect you to a satellite, however, it won't connect you to emergency services. You'll be able to see when the satellite passes over your location, and your iPhone is going to guide you through the steps in order to better connect your iPhone to the satellite above you. Number nine, the iPhone 14 Pro is capable of taking 48 megapixel Pro Raw photos. These photos look fantastic with so much detail. To make sure that this is turned on, open up settings and then go to camera. From there, click on formats and make sure that Apple Pro Raw is turned on. From there, you're able to choose the Pro Raw resolution, so make sure it's set to 48 megapixels. When you're inside the camera app, you're now going to see a raw toggle in the top right hand corner. When you want to shoot in 48 megapixels, make sure that this is turned on. And to confirm that your most recent photo was indeed shot in 48 megapixels, when you're viewing your photo, swipe up to see the metadata and you're able to see the exact resolution of that photo. And finally, at number 10 is an update to cinematic mode. Cinematic mode was first introduced with the iPhone 13, and it adds a really cool blur effect to your videos, which really makes them look more cinematic. And the iPhone 14 Pro can now shoot cinematic mode up to 4K. To make sure that you're recording cinematic mode in the highest resolution, open up the camera and switch to cinematic.
In the top right corner, you want to tap where it says HD and change it to 4K. Now you're going to have that really cool cinematic look with the blurred out background in the highest capable resolution. So if you have an iPhone 14 Pro, you're now able to get the most out of your iPhone. If this video was helpful to you, please drop a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Michael with IDB and I'll see you next time.